Greetings and welcome to the Tuesday Morning Vodcast podcast. This is the part where I drink water. Hey, how are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there this morning? I've had an interesting morning. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. So my son Grayson is supposed to attend. He was selected as one of the winners to go to summer school this year. The thing is, is my kid is not dumb. He doesn't need summer school. He's wicked smart. The problem is he gave up like about halfway through the year. He was like, fuck this. I'm playing video games. And uh, as much as I tried... He just veered off course and his, you know, grades suffered for it, even though they suffered for it. You know, he had all A's and B's up until the third and fourth quarter. It doesn't fucking matter. So the story goes a little something like this. I get a call. I'm at Sequest yesterday. Yes, there's a fucking sequel coming to the Sequest video. And this one's even fucking better than the first one. Here's the deal. We get a call. I'm at Sequest. I get a call. It's a, it's a real call. I saw Lynchburg Public Schools and I was like, oh, it's just going to be a recording. But I picked it up anyway because I wanted to see because I knew today was the day he was supposed to start. Um, and they're like, hi, this is blah, 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 blah. And they said, OK, his bus number is this. This is the time he'll get picked up. This is the time he'll get dropped off. So on and so forth. What does he need? Da, 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 da. So this morning we show up 21 minutes early for the bus. I just wanted to be safe just in case it was running early. We would be there so that he wouldn't miss the bus. Um, I also had to drop off my car again this morning, so I, I, I'm right near the gas station. So that has nothing to do with anything. His, his bus time rolls around. It doesn't show up, which, which is fine. I, it's first day. It's the first day. 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by. Finally, I'm like, I better call the school, see what's happening. So I call the school, and thankfully there's a number right to get to the middle school summer school program. And the woman answered, and she was already miffed, I could tell. And I'm not blaming her. I'm not mad at her or anything like that. She's probably getting a ton of calls. I don't know why I'm still holding the phone up here. I was actually on, on my car, so I, I didn't even have a phone. It was like on the seat next to me. They said, yes, bus 66 is running uh, late. We were, we're getting a lot of calls on it. So I said, okay, cool, no problem. We can sit, and I can talk with my son, and we can enjoy the nice, beautiful morning, which is what we were doing. Until about another... 20 minutes passed. And then at that point, I'm thinking, all right, something's not right. Either they forgot us or I don't know. So I call the school again. Busy, 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 busy. Finally get through about five minutes later. And the lady answers. And I can tell now she's at her wits end. I'm like, hey, I was just calling for an update on bus 66. And she is like, I don't have an update. <laughs> I can't get in touch with the bus company. I can't get in touch with the bus. So first and foremost, um, my son may not be attending uh, summer school based on what has already happened here today. Maybe I'm, I'm using my privilege or something in this case. But the problem is, is that if you can't even get in touch with the bus or the bus company that have our kids and it's missing and there are multiple children that either A, are on a bus that's missing or B, haven't picked up yet and, and parents very concerned about what's going around. I have no desire to put my kid on that bus tomorrow. Like, I'm terrified. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening here? I don't know. That's my story. And it sucks. It was a terrible story. But it, it's been my morning thus far. Last night, on the other hand, was a strange thing. Up until last night, I thought I'd gone back to my world, my dimension, my other space. But I was wrong because Texas, your Texas is not my Texas. My Texas is shaped slightly differently. So there's a, okay, so here's your Texas. And then here's my Texas. My Texas looks like that in my world. Also, Fran Lebowitz is not Fran Lebowitz in my world. It's Anne or Annie. Unless there is an Anne or Annie in this, and I'm just confusing it. I think my mind's just going to shit. Hey, look at these. You know what these are for? Actually, I can't use these. I, I'm such a stupid asshole. My plan was, um, I'm not going to break the fourth wall. Maybe it's the fifth wall in this case. I'm not going to break the fifth wall here. The fact of the matter is, it's like just beyond where this camera is picking up a little bit further, there's, uh, you know, the green screen ends. It's not like it just goes on forever in my world. Uh, so what I was going to do, I was going to take these little one inch PVC pipes, put them on the ends of the three, because the frame that I have built behind this has three structures to what well, that. Uh, 
um, three layers, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it, to keep it together so it's a little bit more sturdier. And I was going to take these and bend it so that I could have it come in on me on this side. And I wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. And I could actually tighten it up a little bit and then it'd be easier to get around the room. But these are the things that you don't give a shit about, so I'm not going to burden you with them. You know what we should do, though? We should try something new today. We should eat some food that we've never tried before. Swedish fish marshmallows. What will they think of next? I swear to Christ. Um, uh, so they're actually Swedish fish flavored, which I'm going to be the judge of because I love the, uh, the flex the berry. Jesus Christ. There's a name for the, the berry that the Swedish fish is based on. But, oh, uh, we're going to find out if these taste like the lingonberry. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. It was right on the tip of my tongue. I love Swedish fish and I love the flavor of a lingonberry. Um, I don't know that I'm going to love it in marshmallow form. Oh, look at that. Already a terrible, epic failure right there. Uh, and why are they going to be gritty on the, on the outside? And why do they have to be gritty on the outside? Why do they have to be a normal... Why, why can't they be a normal marshmallow? Like, okay, so next to these were the Sour Patch Kid ones and the, uh, uh, the watermelon ones. You, you know the company that makes all of those, the Sour Patch Kids and so on and so forth. Um... They were all covered in this, and that made sense. A Swedish fish doesn't have shit like that on the outside of it. It's just, it's smooth. It's a smooth candy. Let's try it. Oh. Huh. Oh, fuck me. Wow. That's impressive. That's really impressive. I, I can't believe it's even better. Like, the flavor is even stronger than it is in a Swedish fish. Now, growing up, um, I used to go to the little Portuguese store. Here it is. It's closed now. But I used to go there with my grandmother, and they had a penny candy section, a literal penny candy section. And you could get Swedish fish. They just had a bucket, or not even, it was like a box, like a cardboard box with all their different candies in it. Just out, exposed, flies flying around the fucking place. Didn't matter when we were kids. Um, and you could get a brown paper bag and just fill it with whatever the fuck you want. They weighed it, and there you go. Or counted it. I think they actually counted it back then. Back then... The Swedish fish had a much more forward, in-your-face flavor that was comparable to nothing. I, I mean, it, it's really lingonberry if you've never... I've never had a lingonberry. <laughs> I'm bullshitting you again. Like, ooh, let's roll the d20. 13. Great. Yeah, that's how my day's going. Unlucky 13. Uh, but yeah, when I was a kid, they, they were much more in your face. They were stronger. They, they, the flavor was the same flavor, but it was more prominent. Through the years, Swedish fish have evolved a lot, and they're not even the same texture they were. I don't enjoy the texture as much as the old ones. The little fish used to be way better than now. The new little fish, they are awful, awful, awful creatures of this earth and should be eradicated. Did I mention I'm doing a sequestered part two by Du? And it's even sexier than the first one. I think I mentioned that already. Anywho, this has been my morning. I had such a busy weekend. I think it's really thrown me off course. That that's usually we don't do much. And when it's hot, we don't go out. But we made plans this weekend to to actually go out to eat. I I went out to eat for the first time since well, <laughs> probably February, January of last of 2020. 2019? Yeah. So maybe like just the end of 2019, early 2020. I hadn't gone out to sit down to eat at a restaurant in that long. And it felt weird. It felt weird not having my mask on. Um, it was just a strange and bizarre thing that I'm going to have to get used to again, I guess. Uh, Grayson got his first shot yesterday. That's super exciting. And he's doing great today. Like, he's like, his, uh, my arm's a little sore when I lift it up. And I was like, good for you, man, because I went through it. Hopefully the second shot is just as easy for him. Um, but I'm super excited that he's got it now because I'm not as scared. I, I, I'm, I'm, I was frightened. Like, he's, he's a fragile child, you know? He breaks really easily, and I was real nervous that I was going to bring something home, or Carol was going to bring it home, not something, COVID, and uh, he was going to get real sick. But thankfully, now he's got his first shot. He'll get his second one uh, July 5th, I believe it is, and then, you know, two weeks later, I don't have to worry about him anymore, ever again for the rest of my life. No, of course I do. I always have to worry about that boy. Oh, that boy. These boys will be the death of me. If you find me dead, that's another one you can add to that list. Ninja assassins, uh, you know, random falling object from the sky, or my children. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Hey, check this out. 
yeah, this guy here. The problem is, it's like, I w I'm so nervous about doing it. I'm going to film it next time I do it. It's going to be awesome. You guys can watch me spit into little plastic containers. Um, the problem is, is that I, I'm real nervous about fucking it up. I don't want to fuck it up. I want to make sure I get this done so that we can get the results back and we can film that thing because I am super excited to find out if there's any differences between that and the CRI genetics. Uh, we did get Carol's back, and I'm not going to share that until I get mine back so that I can do a monster video. Maybe we'll just make it three parts, like a three 20, 30-minute part videos. Brad, does that work for you? <laughs> Are you watching this, Brad? I mean, it's, it's the camera. It's the camera. I've got it on a tripod. Here, I'll show you it. You want to see what it looks like? And then i got to let you guys go. This is 12 minutes, and I'm just... <laughs> being an ass okay so when i'm filming this is what i see now that camera's on a really cool manfrotto tripod that i found for i think it was like five or six bucks at the goodwill i'm up to date on my shots if you're wondering and that's what i see yeah there's this screen which right now is being used for nothing this screen which i monitor myself with and then this screen which is being used for nothing we've got these little overhead lights sometimes i like to bring down that uh the ring light put it in front of me but when you have glasses it makes it a lot harder to have a ring light it's sad i was thinking about getting lasik and then i found out what lasik was <laughs> end of story maybe i'll wait like 20 years and then when my eyes are real fucked up i'll get it done and i'll be like glory be to the heavens for i can see again All right, you monsters. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking these out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit that little bell icon to let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. I don't know what's going to do with my fingers there. I got confused. I'm like, do I flip them off? Do I give them the one gun? Do I give them the, the cool gangster shooter? <laughs>